busy mostly just put the pc back together and running how about you things on here next year at all <laughs> i'm actually yeah <laughs> amanda's like get it on the gallery um are things nicer I, that's why i decided to start streaming to um youtube and move over from Twitch because I just wasn't every time I logged on to stream I got severe anxiety like I don't know how familiar familiar you are with what happened but I just got so anxious about things and people that I just wasn't my best um and there, I mean, there are wonderful people on Twitch. There's Amanda, who's here right now, and you, I mean, you're not there that often, but you were there the other day. Um, a few other streamers, Jenny, Crimson Kratos, um, I'm sure I'm missing someone, but I just had such a negative experience with other people that I just, every time I logged on, to, not to watch other people, but to stream, I just got, like, so uptight that I, I didn't feel like I was, I was being the person that I could be. So, I don't know if that makes any sense, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's why I'm streaming to YouTube now, I, and it, it's good. Um, I wasn't sure about it, but I, I do feel much better about being alive. And even though some of those people might still be following me on or subscribed to me on YouTube, I don't know if they realize they are or not, but I feel better about it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I just, Twitch is, is toxic and I'll, I'll still log on to watch people that are streaming, like friends that I've made, but I don't think I'll ever stream to there again. So I just want to focus on building my YouTube community. And also, I noticed not a ton of people, at least in the U.S., stream Sims to YouTube. I found some, like, Korean um, or some kind of Asian. I don't know if it was Korean, but Asian streams. I found um, some Spanish streams. Uh, I don't know exactly what country they were all in, but definitely not English speaking, or at least that wasn't their main language that they streamed in. So, um, I figured it was a good opportunity for me to stream if not very many people English speaking as their first language people. <laughs> I'm just rambling now, so I'm going to keep rambling, but, um, I thought it was a good opportunity. Well, someone gets around. <laughs> You filled me in a while ago and you were talking about wanting to change. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, because you were streaming the other week and that's probably when I talked to you about it. It wasn't your fault, Amanda. I'm just glad you came back because I felt so, like, <laughs> kind of alone. Like, I wasn't ever going to stream again and I was just going to do YouTube videos. But even that, I lost motivation for for a while. You never like Twitch anyways. Well, I'm not going to rag on people who want to stream, you know. If that's what you want to do, do it. But I, it's not for me anymore. I, it's so sad. Last night I was, um, I reactivated my Twitter and I was going through my old tweets and there was a good six or seven months where things were really good and, um, I was just, I was... I was deleting a bunch of tweets, but I was going through them and I just, it was a reminder of how close knit my community had been. And it was just kind of like, how do I explain it? It was just kind of like, a another punch to the gut realizing that, yeah, we were really close, but these people just blocked me and removed me from their Twitch and their Twitter and their Instagram for no reason. I found out the reason later, but they didn't come to me and talk to me about it like an adult. They just either saw a tweet from me they didn't like or um, or they talked to somebody or somebody talked to them and they didn't come 
verify that information with me. Um, I had an issue with the mod, so nobody came and talked to me. Um, that's not true. Two people came and talked to me about it, and those people I still talk to. <laughs> but the rest of them just poof. Like, they didn't want to be associated with me because of something somebody said, and that was it. I was like, okay, well, I guess you aren't worth having around anyways, so... <laughs> A lot of bad words I want to say, but can't at the moment, because YouTube is strict on that stuff. But, yeah, I don't know. You got me off on a tangent. <laughs> um... But yeah, like Amanda streams to Twitch and she's so fun to watch. Um, Jake, I know you were streaming the other day, which was great. I was glad to see you there. So yeah, I, I didn't get rid of my Twitch. I just, I, I still want to watch my friends, but I just, um, I just won't stream there again. So where did these go? I think these went over here. So like that and that maybe I don't remember maybe like that uh I think there's plenty of room for oh yeah there's plenty of room for a Christmas tree that makes me happy because a lot of the other houses I played in there was like no space for Christmas trees and it made me sad um, I do want to clutter up the barn, but I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like maybe not today. Uh, we can put this out here, woodworking table next to the barn, that makes sense, right? I honestly can't imagine doing that to you, you're amazing, oh Amanda, <laughs> that's so sweet. Uh, yeah, I think some of it I heard through the grapevine was just a difference of opinion, and they were so... I don't, I don't know if they were just shocked by my opinion on some things, or if they really... Because I never changed being the person I am. I was always supportive and, like, super friendly, and... I was always in their streams and then they found out that I had a differing opinion on one issue and then it was just like, boom, we hate you now, you're gone, we don't want to associate with you. And it's like, I'm, I'm still the same person. <laughs> Why are we not friends anymore? It doesn't make any sense. Like I've known for a long time because they were always vocal about their opinions. I've known for a really long time that I did not agree with them on their opinions, but I still loved them for who they were and I still supported them spending a lot of my time in their streams, hosting, rating, retweeting their live, you know, going live tweets. And I, I spent money on them too, which was really stupid. <laughs> um, and for them to just drop me for, for a difference of opinion seemed, I don't know. It just was, I'm really careful about who I trust now and who I give my time and money to. So, um, so Amanda, I appreciate you and I love you. And I know, I know, <laughs> I hope we are friends for a long time. Jake says, well, I'm not going to rag on Twitch either. Just, <laughs> just never liked it for watching videos and stuff. Either way, no need to linger on what happened for bigger and better things. True. Um, only thing I liked about Twitch was I could use music or sounds without copyrights. Yes, but that changed. Twitch is now cracking down on that, which sucked because, um, uh, not sucked, it sucks because there was another streamer, um, I'm a, I'm a mod on his streams and I would also DJ for him. Basically, he had a song request, uh, bought and I would just keep it full throughout his streams and he had some really long streams sometimes. Um, but I would keep it full if there was no one else in chat so that he could just focus on gaming. And, um, and after they, they started becoming more strict with the copyrights, we couldn't do that anymore. And that, it was just fun to have people in there and like hearing the different 
musical tastes from viewers and stuff, but send buttles. Wait, Amanda, I don't see how anyone could be that way with other people. It's just like, like it's one thing if someone becomes actually toxic, you know, it, I've been around real toxic people. But it's like, if you find out someone leans a different way than you on an issue, but they're still the same person, that doesn't make them toxic. It just makes them, it just means that they have their own mind. And I don't see what's wrong with that. <laughs> Unless they have a swastika on their arm or their forehead or something, then what, there's nothing wrong with having a different opinion. <laughs> Send buttles. Um, not stupid, just showing your support for what they do. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a whole nother issue. I've always been way too trusting. <laughs> it's fine though, but you're right. No, no reason to linger on the path. I just haven't really talked about it like that in a while. Um, and without getting actually like upset and angry, that's the first time I've actually been able to talk about it rationally. So that's nice. <laughs> What was I going to do? Oh, dining room. I forgot what I was going to do with the space. Um, but thanks for li <laughs> listening to me vent. I appreciate it.